moving on from that one i wanted to feature this this is courtesy of a artist called nina chanel abney now i'm not too familiar with nina chanel abney apart from the shoes the artwork that Nina Chanel Abney puts out, I'm not really too familiar with it, but I did see a pair of Jordans. Um, I think a Jordan One Low that I saw Nina Abney Chabney, Nina Chanel Abney put together, and they were pretty decent. They were almost like a non-linear, um, very clean, very smooth-looking kind of Jordan One. Let me see if I can actually get it up on here. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm not sure when they actually came out, but they were fucking gorgeous. I think it was actually no, not Jordan One. It's actually a Jordan Two. So there's two versions. There's a Jordan 2 low and a Jordan 2 high. So she did a really good job in terms of taking, again, one of my least favorite Jordans, but actually making them somewhat very wearable, which I think is a harder design proposition than what people do with Jordan 1s and Jordan 4s. Um, I, I've always said, I feel like the, the, the Virgil Off-White Jordan fucking 1s might have been one of his best ones because of how difficult or how hard it is to make Jordan 2s look quite decent. And he did a really good job, right, Virgil? God bless the dead with these fucking amazing Off-White um, Jordan 2s that he put together, right, with the fucking fake crumbled sole on them. Absolutely amazing product. So, Nina Bichet did the same thing with a pair of Jordan 2s. You see the highs there or the mids, whatever, and you also see the lows. Now, I'm not talking about them today. I'm talking about this recent update Nina Amicelli put together on her Instagram that featured this Jordan 3 that's meant to be coming out very soon. And these look beautiful only because they remind me of a lot of those guys and girls out there who do the dip dye custom Jordans or Air Maxes and shit. There's a, a particular guy who I'm thinking of who does these really nice gradient Jordans or Air Maxes where, you know, they have these really thick, um, you know, rope laces, amazing sort of like, you know, pastels and really kind of nice washed out colors. Um, sometimes a tie dye, sometimes a gradient sometimes an acid wash just really well done and kind of muted sort of like color palette very lush materials but just a real departure from the usual like you know tumbled leather leather type of affair that nike or jordan brand put together this is what it reminds me of so this is an official collaboration it's not a fucking you know thing that she just made by herself and they look so fucking hard so far no details on the caption it says hit the link in the bio and subscribe to more updates but they look absolutely beautiful and i'm again not the biggest jordan free fan but i think these look absolutely wonderful so the upper is a mix of green it's basically green in different materials i'm assuming uh, or you've got different hues you've got like a lighter green here on the mud guard you've got a more of a deeper green here on the mid upper and then you've also got that same sort of like lighter green, almost like a foresty, I don't know, I guess green that you'd put it here next to the eye lace days. You've got these nice thick rope laces and off-white outsole completely in this nice off-white green cream ivory type of color. Same with the outsole. The bubble doesn't look like it's a, definitely a clear bubble. And on the back of the heel, interesting little detail here. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Union label. So on the back of the heel where you have the the nike air logo right or the jordan or the or the jordan brand logo you have this nice orange tab similar to what virgil does with his shoes right virgil let me see the um, the off-white mo is it moma air force ones or something do you know what i'm talking about that little orange tab that virgil always does on on these on these um on his shoes you see them on a the swoosh or on these moma air force ones Virgil has had these like this little pool orange tab so that little tab reminds me a little bit of what she's doing with her Jordans and allegedly this little tab can get taken off um you know some of the swagless people out there were asking her in the comments oh can you remove the orange tab I don't like it but me personally I love the orange tab I'd, I'd definitely leave it on if and when I get a pair of these Jordan 3s I'm not taking off this little orange tab on the back I think only the swagless only the, only the people who fucking you know only wear new balances every day in different variations of like gray and white and silver we could be will be complaining about a little orange tab because again this isn't a this isn't a this isn't a kind of a shy shoe if you're wearing something like this right this full green um you know suede new bucky type of fucking Jordan 3 um you're not you know you're not a wallflower so to be offended by a little orange tab when you're not offended by this completely green incredible hulk upper is pretty dumb 
but I love these anyway. I think they look fucking beautiful. Um, you know, just a nice a nice shape on them as well. I'm not too sure if, if these are being constructed on the reimagined Jordan Three, or if they just look this way because of the materials being used. I don't know. Either way, I love them. Look completely very very impressive. Not really too sure when they're going to be dropping, but I'm assuming they're going to be incredibly incredibly in demand, especially if you look at the comments on the actual post courtesy of Nina Abby Chevney's Instagram. You'll see um somebody with the emoji that says, Oh, that looks amazing. You got Metro Booming putting the flame emojis. This person said this is the shoe of the year, no debate. I don't care what else drops. Um you got the real Swiss beats here saying a true giant. Someone else says never owned a pair of Jordans, but clearly this is time. You've got cause the artist saying flame emoji. You got the guy from Complex saying tough. Um, so many people on here are really going hot, like letting it be known that they want to, these, these are going to be very in demand. I'm assuming because this person also is very popular. This Nina Abdi Chevney person has a lot of followers also on social media and clearly is a big time artist. So that might add to it. You got Alicia Keys, Lance Gross in the comments saying they love it. Franelation says he loves it also. Wow, a lot of people are fucking are on it. So clearly. I'm not the only one that's fucking, you know, wanking over these. So these are going to be hard to get. You got the fucking, you know, Mr. Mr. Inverter of Clout himself, Sky Gilati there. Also loving it, saying Swish. You got you got a Bim A. Williams saying he, they love it as well. So many people here are loving it. And again, um, they look fucking beautiful. So I'm not surprised. So Jordan Freeze collaboration soon to come out, courtesy of Nina Abney or Nina Chanel Abney, we're going to wait to see when they do eventually drop. But so far, based on the image we have available, and if you do a little zoom in, they look fucking gorgeous. I'd wear the fuck out of these in a heartbeat. So can't wait for these to drop, really, and curious to see when they drop. 